Hello and welcome to the Order Shark tutorial. This is Order Shark for iPhone and Android. You see it's uh, on an iPhone today. We're going to be taking you through the demonstration of the basic features and a couple of tips and tricks for Order Shark. This is the home screen where you're going to navigate to the main functions of the application, whether that's ordering, looking at previous orders, or reviewing your current order. We're going to start today by pressing order. It's going to ask if you want to create a new order. Yes, you do. So hit yes. It's just going to confirm that this is your customer number and your customer name. This is a demo version, but that'll be your name when it's uh, used for real. This is the keypad. A lot of people prefer to scan rather than enter items on the keypad, but you certainly do have that option to enter uh, item numbers or UPC codes. The scan button is on the bottom left, and when you hit it, it will open up the device's camera and start scanning barcodes. It'll scan shelf tags, UPCs, pretty much every type of barcode that's out there. If you want to change the quantity, tap on where it says QTY and to change it, then hit enter after you enter the new quantity with the new number. It's going to give you the uh, item description there to make sure that you scanned the correct item. Let's go back to scanning. If you want to scan a bunch of barcodes at once, you should hit the lightning bolt icon at the uh, top right of the scan screen there. If you want to turn on the light, uh, it's the flash for photos, but it can also be used if you're not in a very well lit area and you still need to uh, scan barcodes, like if you're in the back room that's not lit very well, for example. So that's going to allow you to scan a bunch of barcodes uh, rapidly without going back to the order screen every time. Uh, and that's, that's going to help you out with uh, you know, the speed of your order. And it's also uh, the functionality is such that you can scan an item multiple times and it will increment the quantity by one each time you do that. When you press review, you're going to go to everything uh, that we've scanned so far here. If you need to select a specific item and change its quantity or uh, do anything else to it, you can do that from that uh, order review screen. So let's go back to review. Here's your current order. You can scroll up and down. You see how many um, lines you have in the order and the total quantity of items. If you want to select an item and delete it, you'll delete it from here with the item selected. It'll give you a, a warning to make sure you don't accidentally uh, delete something you, you actually want. Um, and when we go back to the review screen, you'll see that item has been removed from the order. Now, at this current order screen, if you hit that delete button, you're going to delete the entire order. So be careful if you don't want to delete the entire order that you don't do that from this current order screen. Let's take a look at the headers button right now. This will allow you to change your ship date if your distributor permits that. It will also allow you to enter any type of comment you want to make in the order, such as deliver to the side door. You go back and we'll uh, return to our current order here. Once you've done everything you want to this order and you've got all your quantities correct and everything like that, uh, you can hit the plus button to add more items if you want to. Once you've got everything finished, you hit send. You're going to get a confirmation that once you send, you cannot change the order once it's been sent. So make sure it's good. Hit yes. You'll get this syncing order message and you'll get a confirmation that it's been sent. You will also get a confirmation that it was received on the other end. So there's nothing else to do. You don't have to email or call or text anybody to make sure that it got there. From the home screen, you can uh, go to your order list and review this order and any orders that, the, that have been stored in the system uh, previously. One of the best features of OrderShark actually is the ability to copy an order. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You select an order from received orders. You're going to hit the copy button and it's going to ask you if you want to also copy the quantities. If you turn that off, it's going to quantity everything at one, but it's going to copy all of the items. But if you copy the quantities as well, those will be copied to your new order. And this is an order that you can uh, that you can use just like any other one. So it's going to save you a lot of time. You don't have to scan 100 or 400 barcodes every single week or however often you order. Um, you can just copy a previous order, alter the quantities, maybe add something here, change something there. But uh, that's where Order Shark is going to help you and save you a lot of time in your store. If you hit the help and support button, it's going to take you to online support for Order Shark, which is uh, pretty much just like this video, except you don't get my uh, narration, so maybe not as much fun. <laughs> 
Anyway, back to the application. That's Order Shark. If you have any questions, please contact your distributor.